This is a, a video about a recent circuit board that I made using uh, Easy EDA and JLC PCB. These are uh, two linear power supplies that you can build yourself. I'm not selling these. If someone asks, I might be able to make the plans available. But, I mean, anyone can make a linear power supply. The schematics are all over the internet. So, we'll go over these real quick. This one is meant to handle theoretically up to 20 amps. Uh, the traces on here, there are two traces, on one on this side and one on this side. They are uh, rated at supposedly 8 amps based on calculations I've done. They should be able to handle 8 amps. Um, is, but I would recommend that if you did make something like this that you can see I've left the traces bare that you take some 12 AWG wire and you just solder it along here or you can even just put a very large bead of solder along here and it can increase the current capacity um, so I'm going to put this together real quick this one is also a uh, similar type of thing. Um, it can handle 5 amps with the board traces and if you were to solder wire across it, it could probably handle more. So, let's get to work on this. This is a common bridge rectifier that I've pulled out of uh, some random piece of electronics and this is a an electrolytic capacitor and the polarity matters so you have to make sure I've marked the polarity on here or it's already marked on here and I've marked it on the board and you have to install the electrolytic capacitor with the uh, proper polarity. So it's just that simple. Uh, you can do calculations to decide whether or not you have the correct capacitance value. I've just picked these. I'm not too concerned if they're 100% accurate. We will look and see how much uh, ripple they have, but it'll be ripple without a load. So. Um, So the next thing is, I'm going to hook these up. Uh, this one, I've got a capacitor in here that's uh, rated up to 200 volts, but for quickness, I'm just going to hook this up to a, a 30 volt connection, and this one's going to be hooked up to 24 volts. Uh, with the bridge rectifier, you then multiply the voltage times 1.414 and you get the actual output voltage so the the 24 volts will give me 36.76 volts and 
the 30 volts if that's what's actually coming out. Well, it should give me about 42 volts. So let me hook that up and I'll come back. Okay. So I have this hooked up to this transformer. Uh, actually, I misspoke. This transformer puts out it's 30 volts with a center tap, so it's actually 60 volts and so that's about 85 volts, 86 volts that you should get. And then this side, the brown, puts out about 24 and you should get about 35 volts out of it. Um, so let's turn this on and see if it explodes. No explosion. So let's see. So this first one. Eighty three point three volts DC. And this one hold still. thirty five point eight five volts DC <clears throat> let's see if we can look at that on the oscilloscope Looks like it's pretty smooth as far as I can tell. So that's it. Another uh, successful DIY on a linear power supply. Thanks for watching.